Hi guys, so we're back in 2014 looking at immigration again. Obviously, last year the House did not pass immigration, so we're stuck in the same position. And there's been recent news where President Obama gave a speech in San Francisco, and my buddy Ju Hong interrupted him. And most importantly, we will live up, most importantly, we will live up, most, most importantly, we will live up to our character as a nation. That's, that's, that's exactly what we're talking about. Yeah. That's why we're here. please use your executive order to halt deportation for all 11.5 undocumented immigrants in this country right now. We agree that we need to pass Actually, I don't. And that's why we're here. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think it was so important that Ju Hong interrupted him because it gave more light or more emphasis on the need for deferred action for all. And I think the pressure is on President Obama to extend deferred action to more of the 11 million undocumented immigrants. There's been some hope recently because John Boehner has hired Rebecca Talent. Rebecca Talent is a name in Washington where she was an aide to John McCain during the 2006-2007 immigration run. And I think that advocates have said that because of her hiring and because of her knowledge that Boehner and the House will move on immigration, a pro-immigration bill during this summer. And I did want to congratulate or highlight the story of Sergio Garcia who last week became the first undocumented immigrant in California to be admitted to the state bar, the first openly undocumented immigrant. The justices unanimously approved of his application to be admitted. And it, this was so amazing because back when we were younger, you know, five, ten years ago, nobody could say you could be a doctor or a lawyer and do all these things. But now in this, in this climate, in this world, we're saying, hey, you know, you could do it. You could practice law. You could practice possibly medicine and, and reach for the stars. Obviously, Sergio will have to work pro bono or own his own law firm, but the opportunity is there for all their undocumented immigrants to practice law and to go into the fields that they wish to and choose to. And on top of that, have the right to try to live in the United States as best as they can. So as we look towards 2014, I think it's important for President Obama to extend for action so that Congress can actually take up a full citizenship bill. John Boehner recently in the news said that he's going to give a list of immigration principles for his party to accept and adopt. Whether it remains to be seen how this will affect immigration reform this year will probably be huge because if the House says, well, we're only going to give them work permits and then the Senate and President Obama says, well, he has given full citizenship. There might be a battle in the House later this year if they could actually take up this bill. Other Republicans, such as Steve King, have said, you know, we're not going to do this. I think we should focus on health care this year. And they've voted on health care the last 50 times. And they want to remain focused on that as possibly to torpedo immigration. What I hope is that they'll get off that try to put immigration bills on the floor this year, try to pass something such as the DREAM Act, guest worker program, and a full pathway to citizenship. And I think that if they could do that in the summer, possibly whenever the primaries are over in this election year, I think that's the best thing we could all hope for. I think though that this remains to be seen, of course, and I, I give it at best a 50-50 shot because of the climate of the House elections. But I think because there's so much pressure from even the Chamber of Commerce that there's going to be huge push, a lot of money, and even from the tech industry to get something done. Because if it doesn't get done this year, then we'll have to look towards 2015, which may give us, of course, will give us another shot. But I don't think anybody wants to go through another 400,000 deportation, another... 5,000 kids going to foster care and just all these tragic stories and I think the public has been behind immigration reform for, for a number of years. I think it's just up to Congress to finally say enough is enough. We need to pass this bill now. And I think that 
Other things that we could work on this year is the New York State Dream Act, where we could actually give undocumented students financial aid to go to school. Hopefully, I could go back to school later this year. And I think that if we could actually work on the little goals and steps towards the bigger issues, I think that's the best thing for this state and for the community and for across the country as well. Well, I guess that's it for today. Hopefully, we'll see you soon. And if you have any questions or comments, please contact me on livingindocument.com. I'm also, if you are a dream elder, those who are over 30 and do not have deferred action, please contact me. And I'm also looking for programmers or coders for a special app that I'm working on. Okay, thank you guys.